previously on OG Bree Bree. Give me that funk, that sweet, that nasty, that gushy stuff. So don't fool me. Come on, give me that funk, that sweet, that oh, nasty, that oh, gushy oh, stuff. Oh, oh, give it to me. Give me that funk, that sweet, that nasty, that gushy stuff. So don't fool me. Mama, give me that funk, that sweet, that nasty, that gushy stuff. Missy be putting it down. I'm the hottest round. I told y'all mother, y'all can't stop me now. Listen to me now. I'm lasting 20 rounds. And if you want me, then come on, get me now. Is you with me now? Everybody, how you doing? I know I look a little rough. My my sweater is my sweatshirt is wrinkled. I got a bandana on my head. It's just a hot mess today. Today, okay. So, um, I am on my way to get my eyebrows either waxed or threaded. I don't know which one I want to do. I kind of want to do threaded, uh, because every time I get my eyebrows waxed, my eyebrows break out. Um. But every time I get my eyebrows threaded, it hurt like hell. And I be wanting to tell them to stop. Like, every time I try it, I be sitting there like, why? Why am I putting myself through this? Why? It hurts so bad. Especially when you got to pull, pull down like this. Oh, baby, it hurts so bad. All right, so uh, I'm doing that because today uh, me and Steve are taking engagement pictures. And... This should be very interesting. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get some B-roll footage of us taking the picture, depending on where we're taking our picture. And another thing, it's supposed to rain today. Yay, it's supposed to rain today. So here's the thing. Let's just bring y'all up to speed on everything because I don't vlog every day. So um, we, we are taking engagement pictures so we can uh, start making our invitations for the wedding and plus, like we've been together since like 2011 i think since 2011 yeah we never took pictures together other than like a, a selfie or ussy or whatever people want to call it besides that we we've, we've never ever like took professional pictures together so what i did was i booked us two appointments to uh two different photographers just so we can get two different uh photography styles two different editing styles and two different styles of pictures all right like us wearing two different styles of clothing or whatever but y'all i ain't even gonna lie like the photographer that we were um that I picked for us to take our fall pictures because we were supposed to take some fall pictures too, y'all. Um, yeah, I think she flaked that on me. She took my money and flaked that on me. So, you know, I'm finna go ahead and do that good, that good old dispute and get my money back because, like, I booked this appointment earlier this week. And to book the appointment is to secure your spot just like with anything else you have to pay a deposit so i paid the deposit but i didn't hear anything back from the woman like she didn't tell me where the location is gonna be i emailed her and say hey do i need to bring anything she didn't email back i called her she didn't answer on her voicemail it says text her i text her twice yesterday she did not respond i'm like no ma'am you're not just gonna take my money and run with it so i don't know wow while i was while i was recording talking about this lady she texted me back let me see what she said wow she just texted me right when i was talking about her she must have heard me talking about her she must have heard me say the word dispute and it fixed her fingers to start texting me back but y'all, I just read the text message. I didn't really read all of it because I'm driving. I just read like bits and pieces of it or whatever. When I'm actually able to stop, I'll be able to read the entire thing. And she just said, oh, I'm so sorry. I never got back to you. I've been so ugly with the weather. Good thing I'm feeling better now. And she said something about she double booked and she will be unable to, um, to do the pictures on the day that I booked it for, that she was available at the time on her online booking. She said that um, she accidentally double booked. She wouldn't be able to do it on Saturday. She would be able to do it on Sunday. But here's the thing, y'all. Like, it wouldn't be, 
I wouldn't care about doing it on Sunday, but I already have an appointment to get my damn makeup done on Saturday. I don't know if the woman will let me uh, reschedule my appointment to Sunday. I don't know if she'll let me do that. Now I got to reach out to this other girl to see if she'll be able to switch my appointment to Sunday. Like, this is this is what I'm talking about. Like, y'all, this is why I don't like planning stuff. This right here is the reason why I just be wanting to say F it and forget, like, a wedding and everything because, like, I just hate dealing with people like this, even though this is not what this is for the wedding. It is. You just have to deal with other people and they're like I don't know like you just gotta deal with other people and they not uh, writing you back y'all I've, I've dealt with so many photographers and they do not write back and like what is wrong with y'all y'all don't want no money like I'm a serious inquirer like I want to know are you available on this day I have money ready to give you like oh this don't make no sense Okay, so y'all, I think I found a new place to get my eyebrows done. They look, they look good. They look good. Good. And I got them threaded, y'all. It didn't hurt as bad as it did the last time that I went. I guess the girl that did it the first time that I ever went did it wrong. Because, y'all, it was hurting so bad. Like, I was in tears. It hurt so bad. I was like, please stop. Don't do it no more. No, stop. Stop, stop. Like, it was just hurting way too bad, but she was telling me, she was like, it's all about who does them or whatever. So, I was like, I'm, I'm going to go get my eyebrows started now. Like, because that's why I never went to go get my eyebrows waxed is because um, it hurts so it well, my eyebrows break out when I get them waxed and then I didn't want to get it threaded because it hurts so bad. So I was just letting my eyebrows grow out and I was just using like a little razor to kind of shape them up a little bit. But yeah, I found a new place to go. Ow. So yeah, how they look y'all? They look good. So y'all, I, I read that text message. This is gonna be a long vlog and I'm really not trying to make the vlog long y'all. But uh, I read the text message that I got from the woman. She told me that uh, she's been under the weather. I think I said all that. She's been under the weather and um, she's feeling better now. And uh, she wanted to know, well, she double booked for uh, for the day that we were supposed to um, have our pictures done. And she wanted to know if we could come in on Sunday. Yeah, she said that, yeah, on Sunday. Here's the thing, y'all. I just messaged my um, the the woman that's supposed to do my makeup, and I asked her. I told her the situation. I was like, my photographer do double booked, and I wanted to know if I could move my appointment to Sunday. And she was like, yeah, that's no problem, but there'll be an extra twenty-five dollar fee because I'm off on Sundays. I'm like, oh no, baby, I'm not paying twenty-five more dollars because this woman double booked. Like that don't make no sense. I need to call Steve and tell him that, cause he gonna be like, oh no. Because, like, this don't make no sense. Like, even though you under the weather or, or, or anything, like, you can still send a text message back. You could shoot a text message back and be like, hey, I'm sorry, um, you know, I'll get back with you as soon as possible. And then she was telling me that she would give me $15 off um, for being flexible if I wanted to change my appointment to Sunday like $15 really you need to give me $25 because that's how much I'm gonna have to pay the girl to do my makeup like I'm gonna have to pay her additional $25 and I really don't want to two hours later it's raining it's raining so now because it's raining. Lord, let me get over. I forgot what side of town I'm on. These folks can't drive. So, because it's raining, I don't know how these pictures are gonna turn out. Like, this is a shit show, okay? This is a shit show. Shit, shit show. That's what it is. 
how we're gonna take pictures in the rain. I got a quick whip, can't get my hair wet. As soon as my hair get wet, I start smelling glue. So y'all, I just text back the uh, the photographer and I told her like, is there any way that you could squeeze us in on Saturday? Like any way possible because I'm not paying extra to get my makeup done. This just not happening. I'm not paying extra. Not. I really didn't want to pay to get it done this time. I really just wish that I knew how to do my makeup myself and I could just do my own makeup, save myself some money. I need to I need to figure out how to do makeup because this is this is just too expensive for me. This is too expensive. So Y'all, I'm almost to the girl, the girl house. Y'all know how I feel about going to people's house to get stuff done. Why these people don't have a shop? Like, come on now. Why don't they have a shop? But, y'all, I'm finna get ready and do that real quick. And I'll get back on here once my makeup is done. Yeah, I'll get back on here then. Peace. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Y'all see my makeup? Look at it. on a red polo some jeans and some white shoes kind of kind of matched just kind of coordinate i guess right so um we are on our way to go meet with the photographer but it's, it's a little bit of traffic but it's not that bad though we're gonna make it the way before you know. yeah we're gonna make it there i got my comb and I don't have no lip gloss. I'm hungry. So when we get done with this, we gotta find us something to eat. Yeah. I don't know what, but You want some fair food? Some fair food? Man. I'm not going to the, to the fair with no Air Force Ones, huh? I'm not gonna lie to you. Still. You step in shit. You gonna, yeah, you gonna step in some shit. Somebody gonna step on your shoe. That's the one thing about too. We live in Arkansas, so. State Fair is where they get all like the cattle and shit. Oh my god. Yeah, it turned to real country town. Like, you start to realize how country Arkansas is when you go to the State Fair and see all the damn pigs and horses and cows. Oh, it smells like, it smell like cattle. It's, 
Yeah, it's stank. It's like pretty. good food and cattle. What the fuck they got going on? Just crossed over two lanes? They did all that so they can get to the liquor store? God damn. Me anyway. I was just telling Bree how my girlfriend in high school was trying to get me to have sex at the state fair. By the cattle. That's nasty. And if y'all watch those uh <laughs> Reed and Steve Love Letters. Reed and Steve Love Letters. I should go back and do that. Cause I didn't I didn't finish doing that. I should go back and do that. While I was reading his old love letters. Not sure that it was that girl. That girl. She was trying to get him to have sex with her at the state fair behind the cattle. She nasty. And then Steve said she got caught having sex at the fair. I'm hot, man. <laughs> um I'm hot. Like, it's cool outside, but it's not really cool enough to wear what I have on, but it's just it's just for the pictures. That's it. That's all it's for. Okay, we are done with the the first little photo shoot thing or whatever. I was, I was gonna get ass on. What was you finna do? I was just gonna make a circular turn. Mm. So that was pretty straight. We took a whole lot of pictures. And though like even if I wanted to, Steve, get like some some B roll footage, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Because we was too busy to take pictures. Yeah. We was too busy taking the pictures and then like we was like in the middle of the street and stuff. Hopefully by the time that this vlog goes up, I'm able to put it like one picture in here or something. So y'all be able to see. So Steve, how you feel about the pictures? Yeah, it was cool. So Steve got me eating Chipotle again because i stopped eating chipotle a long time ago because chipotle had too much stuff going on and i was like mm -mm. They had shit going on a long time. that was a long time ago though that was like that was some years ago and i haven't had chipotle since so the photographer was talking about how much he loved chipotle that made steve want to go to chipotle i haven't had well i eat it so hungry so hungry i wanted to eat something before we had went to take the pictures but i didn't want to mess up my lip lip stuff because i don't have anything to replace it right now and i don't know what she used on my lips so i was like i'm not gonna eat okay so we back at the house and when we was at Chipotle, I got some guacamole. I never had guacamole before. Don't even know what it tastes like. It looks disgusting. I'm gonna try just a little bit. Is that red, is that red onion? Yeah. Steve, you know how I feel about red onion? I love red onion. It got a weird texture to it, but it's not nasty. And plus, it has it has red onions in it. And see, see, you know I love red onions. Red onions, oh, oh, I love red onions. I don't know if it's something I'll be like, ooh, I need some guac. But it's not nasty. See how your burrito. It did the fuck.
I didn't poop. I I burped. No, I did not, Steve. I don't fart. I'm a lady. I don't fart. I don't. I I do not fart. I'm a lady. You? No, Steve. No, don't even blame that on me, Steve. I ain't even got no pants on, and it would have sound way louder than that if I pooped it. Steve. It was it was terrible hell. Like Steve. Steve, don't y'all. That was Steve. That was Steve. But I'm done editing. Which one you edit? I actually had enough footage to break those uh that into two vlogs. So I have now some you gotta, footage. Now you gotta edit the uh the duct tape. No, not yet. You ain't gonna edit it? Not yet. Right. Cause I'm I'm editing in order. Okay. So I wonder if my video through uh, exporting. Exporting. I sure thought you were asleep. You was too quiet in there. I can see what you saying about it peeling right there. But it's still cute. See, talking about me. Because I've been in there taking a million pictures. About 3,000. With the same damn makeup. But hey, I'm going to let you live. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing tomorrow, too. Man, these pictures look real for me. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean they look real for me? Yeah, your makeup look exactly the same. <laughs> so... I like it. I wish I knew how to do it myself. You can get your makeup done more often, aren't you? Yup. Yup. Sure am. We acting like a nigga with a fresh haircut. <laughs> <laughs> I saw been in the room taking a billion pictures. Nobody. And I got this pimple right here, but don't, don't, I don't even care about that because I can, I can, I can edit that. You just hit my belly like that. Not that. Knock on the door. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Hey. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'm going to the gym. I need to go to the gym. Like now. I need to go to the gym for real. Like for real, Steve. The I'm hardest the part, the hardest part is starting. Once we start, we be good. I think we need the meal prep and everything. Meal prep. Steve, that if you change You put your hand on my titty, I need to do to... <laughs> I didn't mean to. I'm gonna get me a Zion hydrated. Back to what I was talking about, Steve. Uh Steve, that's hmm? what I was talking about. Uh, I watched, I'm on basketball. Steve, Twitter. no, listen. No basketball Twitter. I don't care about that. You can do that, but I'm saying, Steve, we need to meal prep and work out. We'll lose the weight. It'll fall off like butter, yeah. like butter. Steve, you listening to me? My eyes turning red from these lashes. I don't want to take them off, though. This lash coming off. I don't know how to put it back on. And then this one right here. Is that hair right here? It's hair getting in my in my eye. My eyes turning red right there. That's okay. I'm still going to take these pictures. You ain't done yet? Nope. All right, y'all. It's like 1.30 in the morning. I'm finna wash this stuff off my face, like for real. For real. Let me go get my stuff so I can wash it off. Y'all hear Steve? He in there jamming. Listening to NSYNC or somebody. He's like, <laughs> All right, y'all.
right, y'all. I'm going to wash this stuff off my face. Like, for real. It's like almost 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm getting my hair. Not my hair. I'm getting my uh, makeup redone for tomorrow's fall pictures. So, I'll take more selfies tomorrow. Y'all wish I knew how to do do this stuff myself. I'd be doing it all the time. I just be putting makeup all the time. I want to learn. Gosh. I just, I don't know the techniques. I need somebody to hold my hand. Be like, no, you're doing it wrong. Do it like this. Because whenever, y'all look my eye turn red. This is my Ooh, it feel like this a hair in my eye too. It's probably why it's red. Yeah, it, my eye. Y'all can see red. This is my lazy eye anyway. I don't know why I got my part on this side because I use this eye all the time, and this is the one that that goes out this way. I don't know why. What what did I think? Like this is my dominant eye. Um.